In this lesson, we want to show the way in which we can change a report. And actually, we will modify the one that we just created, the simple report. And of course, we will increase the capabilities of that simple report. We will show how um, it's really easy to just create a formula, uh, for example, in the columns. So let's open information systems, ad hoc uh, reports, report painter, a report and now let's uh, start the transaction G double R2 uh, the one that we can use just to change so we have to look for uh, our library so uh, well, uh, it's the last one that we have here let's open the library and well we only have one report so far uh, using this library so that's it uh, let's just double click on that simple report and we have the definition here on the right hand side um, we can just uh, close the, the left panel just hide navigation so we can work better and now we went just to add a new column but again the main difference is that this will be a formula column and we will just have it as a, as a calculation to show the difference between actual costs and plan costs so um, to, to define this, we just have to double click the first dots here next to the plan column. Now, um, the system will just say, okay, what do you want to create for this uh, or use to create this new column? Right now, we want a formula. So uh, we can confirm that. And well, what is really interesting, uh, and as we know, uh, SAP. With using this tool um, on the background, when we save and when we run a report that we create uh, using Report Painter, uh, on the background the system actually creates code. Um, so every time a code is created, a, um, the, what we call the syntax of the language should be exact and should be without just, you cannot even miss like a apostrophe or a comma or anything so instead of just typing what we want which is dangerous because we might miss maybe a a, a, a digit or we can use a different uh, a, a character uh, and that will cause a dump in the system that will cause that the that the coding cannot be executed correctly uh, we will use this uh, panel that we have at the bottom and actually what is really interesting that is that um Report Painter, every time we create a column, uh, this tool, Report Painter, will automatically assign an ID to, for that column. So, for example, we have X001, which is a column for actual costs, and X002, which is a column for plan costs. So, we will use these IDs and, and this push button just to build the formula. And again, it's going to be, this is all automatic, uh, uh, all this sequencing for the columns. And everything is just, uh, uh, again, like uh, we don't even need to type it. Uh, we just click. So we'll click um, the first ID, X001. And now we want to um, have the difference. So actual minus plan. So as you can see now, we, we click plan. And we have now the formula X001 minus X002. So actual costs uh, and we subtract, then uh, we'll subtract the plan costs to get the difference. So that's it. That's it. This is a very simple formula also, of course. Let's just uh, click confirm. Um, we'll enter here variance, just as the description, uh, the short text, but I mean, also we'll just copy short text to medium and long. And now let's confirm. Um, well, uh, that, that's it. Uh, as simple as that, we uh, have just created a new column and it's a calculated column with a formula. Let's uh, save the change. And uh, we have already added this report to a report group. So we can just go right now and execute the report. So let's click execute here. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, the report group is generated again because of the change even we may have some compiling yes as you can see there and uh, the system is just uh, bringing to life all those changes that we just did creating even that new code uh, if needed and well uh, again we have no parameters here as of now so we can just execute actually the report and as you can see, uh, again, our very simple reports now being shown. But of course, we have the new column. Again, it's a calculated column using that formula. 
and we have the difference now between the actual costs and the plan costs as the variance. So as easy as that, we can just come and create a, a formulas show a new data that of course this uh, this particular column is not data that we have uh, stored in the database uh, the the report did not query the database for this actually this was a, this was just a calculation that the system did uh, using the formula we defined so really nice to know as 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 we know by now some uh, reports in the system we can alter them we can add new columns even in fury apps we have some some possibilities but most of the times we cannot uh, create like a formula as simple as, as we have uh, have done in this lesson. So again, a powerful tool still, the rubber painter. Um, let's go back. I mean, and especially uh, for whom we want to create our own reports different from the standard reports. So well, do you want to exit the report? Yes, we want to just quit this now. And we'll actually quit the app entirely. The change app. And with this, uh, we finish the lesson. But of course, we want to uh, just remind you that you can write to our email 123learnsap at gmail.com. So again, that is 123 with numbers, 123learnsap uh, at gmail. Uh, of course, we can answer there all, all your doubts or receive any comments, of course, that you might have. So thank you so much.